Hello everyone, my name is David Colon, and these are my co-ideas. Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, today is going to be a quick video um, because I'm just going to be giving you a high level overview of my brand new 360 car camera. Um, <laughs> I hope she doesn't think I'm filming her. Um, but so what this is is this is a system basically it's four cameras one on each mirror one in the front and one as a reverse camera and what it does is it stitches the images together to give you this let me adjust this that way you can see so you have a full 360 view around the car Um, this is something that they're putting in newer Mercedes. However, the newer Mercedes uh, Don't show this over here. They just show this image and then I want to say they show the backup camera as well um, Now this is not a product that's made specifically for Mercedes They have five different models in here and one of them happens to be a Mercedes So that's the one that I chose all the different car models are white But this is something that can be installed in pretty much any car um, which is really, really cool. The unit itself was $375. I bought it off of AliExpress. It came from China. Shipping took about a week. Um, now, I have not finished the calibration process, which is the reason why you see the, the overlap there. Um, once I do, that's when I'll put out the actual review video. Um, but I figured that I would share share this with you guys, that way you could uh, you take a look and check it out comes with a remote um, you don't really need the remote but you can use it if you want um, right now I have this set so that it always stays on um, and I just did that for the purpose of this video but typically the way that it would be set is that way uh, it only it stays on for about three seconds after it's triggered three to five seconds after it's triggered so say I turn on my turn signal um, then it would come on or if I wanted to reverse it would come on now another thing that this does is it does I, I don't have a memory card yet I'll, uh, I'll I'll get one in a day or two but the reason why it has a memory card is because this actually this unit actually has a DVR so it records the whole time that you're driving um, from all angles you can access it at any time this does work via HDMI or RCA, whichever one you prefer, whichever one is accessible to you. It is in 1080p, even though my head unit only accept, accepts RCA. So unfortunately, I don't get the 1080 display. Um, but this also has a vibration sensor in it. And that way, in the event that the car is parked and turned off and it detects any vibration, um, it'll start recording and again it records from all angles and you have access to each individual camera and When you do the playback function you have access to each individual camera as well, which is really great for things like car accidents or um, or vandalism or um, You know say somebody does a hit-and-run. There's a variety of different things that this could be useful for but um, once I get this calibrated um, then I will give a full in-depth review and my final judgments on it. I'll, I'll probably wait um, two weeks, maybe three weeks before I do the, the final review. I really like to sit with products for a while to see how I feel about them. Um, I, I don't want to make a, uh, a rash decision and, you know, say something's really great when I don't really know that it is. You know, I, I want to take a little bit of time to see how, uh, if there are any bugs, if there are any kinks that need to be worked out or anything like that. But um, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Um, if you have any questions, uh, just leave them in the comment section. I do try to respond as fast as possible. Um, have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.